Masking is now mandatory for Chelsea public school students. WBZ's Katrina Kincaid is in Chelsea, which is now the first public school system in the state to reinstate a masking requirement. We saw students going to class today here at Chelsea High School wearing masks after the superintendent made that decision to make them mandatory as they return back from the holiday break because the CDC is now classifying Suffolk County as a COVID-19 high-risk red transmission zone. So I think anything that we can do to prevent further spread is going to help not just Chelsea but really help the, the, the entire region. The CDC does recommend wearing a mask indoors if you're in a high-risk area. This decision makes Chelsea the first public school system in the state to make masking a requirement as kids return from the holiday break. What I find is that a lot of the pushback comes from people who are not actually in our community. A huge majority of the people who are in our community are just not they're not they're, they're not really pushing back. Masks will need to be worn in school buildings except when eating or drinking. Students who don't bring a mask will be given one. I think people in general would rather it not be a requirement, but again, this is not going to be a permanent requirement. We're not returning. They're aware not all students will want to follow the requirement, but believe the effort will make a difference. No policy is really ever followed 100% of the time, right? And we're just trying to make sure that it is followed as much as possible. School officials aren't quite sure how long this mandatory mask mandate will be in place, but they have pledged to lift it as soon as the county goes from the red transmission high risk down to yellow. In Chelsea, Katrina Kincaid, WBC News.